guys, so today I'm gonna be making a planter. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. I mean, a while. So I decided that I wanted to build a planter because I wanna grow something even though it dies every single time that I plant something. Um, but hopefully this will be the right time and hopefully I'll do it right this time. So I'm gonna get started on the planter right now. So I'll need four 45 inch two by fours. Those are cedar. They're durable outside. You'll also need two 42 inch cedar pieces. You'll also have on the side 14 and 3 4 inch four of those pieces. And then on the middle part, so that is where you're connecting on a different level, you'll need two 18 inch pieces, which that'll come together and you'll get 30 inch posts two by two cedar pieces. Here I'm gonna measure out my pieces. I measured out every single piece that I needed and didn't kind of go about the way of cutting one and then making repeatable cuts off of that first cut. If I were to do this over again, I definitely would do the repeat cut with some type of stopping point, but I just measured everything and then cut everything. When I went to the table saw to cut off kind of that curved edge, I just did a little bit where the blade was touching the outside, and then I went through all of one side for every piece, then flipped it, changed my measurement up, and made sure it touches the blade, and then did it for the other side. Now I'm just going to sand everything, make sure everything's really smooth. And for my sake, just make sure that I didn't mess up. I'm going to just lay everything out, make sure everything fits well, make sure it's all right, and that I have all the pieces that I need. I've gone through this several times when I was actually doing this and messed up multiple times with multiple pieces of wood where I had the wrong measurements. But I just kind of completely lost my brain. I had all the right measurements and then was like, no, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. So just lay it out. It'll give you peace of mind that you have everything that you need. Once you have everything laid out, I just kind of took apart everything that I had put together except for one corner. So this is what everything should look like laid out. I'm just going to take the first corner. For me, it was just easier to do this one piece of wood, connect it to the post that I'm building, and clamp it together. Then I'm just going to drill in there the screw. My next step is to then just put the other piece together, make sure it's square make sure everything fits well together. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did for the other one. I'm going to put a screw in and drill it. I'm gonna put them not on the same level so that the nails don't touch. So now that I have my first level, I'm just going to use the square to line my second screws up. So I did the right side and now I'm going to do the left side and make sure that I get my screw in kind of in the same place as my other one. One of the things I had issues with was just the power of the drill. It was either too powerful or too weak, but I just erred on the side of too weak so I didn't have to worry. So you'll just keep building this up on each side so you'll know that one side ends up with the end looking out and the other side will have the end looking out on the other side. One thing I did run into is my wood splitting. So then I just started doing pilot holes with a smaller drill bit and then 
putting in my screw with the drill. It helped tremendously to prevent splitting. And again, the power thing just really screwed me over sometimes, so I would always go weaker than heavier. So now that I have all my sides connected, I'm just gonna do the last bit so really this just got a lot faster once I kind of already figured it out. I'm just gonna do all of my pilot holes and then I'm just gonna do all of my screws to screw them in. And it just gets easier once you kind of have a box that's already formed together versus just two pieces connecting on different planes. The one thing I probably would have done a lot better next time was making sure that all of my wood pieces were just really tight and snug together. So maybe recruiting Armando or using more clamps to ensure that everything is getting a tight fit and that it fits perfectly. So I'm finally finished with my planter. It is looking amazing right now. I just love the way it looks and how sturdy it really is. There's not much weight going against those two by two posts. I was kind of afraid that that would be too much weight, but it's really not. So now I just have to add my bottom. I just got some horses and put pieces together. Some of the scrap wood I had left of my cedar measured out the inside and made sure that I measured from the middle, the right and the left, because those are all different measurements, a little bit with the bowing, and I wanted to make sure I had a tight, snug fit. So my planter is now done, and now I just need to add my landscaping fabric so I can actually plant something in there. So I just got a cheap roll of landscaping paper and just stapled it in made sure everything looks good, and cut off the excess. I just got some potting mix, and I'm going to just plant my plants. My little dollar annuals. I don't know what they're actually called. They just said annuals. So here's my finished planner. It's looking amazing. And here's some close-ups. So man, this project was amazing to build and I loved building it, but I was just really horrible at building it this time. I was just really unorganized. It was horrible. I would say like, oh, I cut this wrong. I need to fix it. And then I would turn around and be like, wait, it's right. It's what are you talking about, Malia? And then I'd go and turn around again and be like, no, this one's wrong. And then I'd be like, no, no, Malia, this is right. It was just a whole fight with myself. It was like being a wife and husband combo in one person, and it just wasn't working at all. But it turned out amazing, and I love it, so that's all I care about. But I do wanna know if any of you guys have a favorite herb that you guys have grown in your gardens, let me know. I just really wanna build something where I can put some fresh food in it. I'm not to the point that I want to put veggies in it, but I think herbs will be something cool to, to build and to grow in a planter. So let me know if there's a favorite one and one that's easy to maintain and not to kill because I'm horrible at planting. So that'd be awesome. Well, if you guys like this video, go ahead and like the video. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you guys can see more of my videos and more DIYs. See you guys. Bye. Thank you.